Hello and welcome to Organic World Building. My name is Anthony Vaccaro and I've been a video game industry professional over the last eight years and I have shipped five critically acclaimed titles in that time. My first job in the industry was at Bungie working on Halo Reach as an environment artist. Although for the majority of my career, I have been an environment artist at Naughty Dog working on titles such as Uncharted 3, Uncharted 4, Uncharted The Lost Legacy, The Last of Us, and now I'm currently working on The Last of Us Part 2. Much like all of you, I also went to school for video game art. However, online schooling like CGMA was not really a thing when I started. There were not even that many YouTube tutorials on game development to be honest. So I went to a slightly more traditional route of going to a brick and mortar school, the Art Institute of California San Diego, where I got my bachelor's degree in game art and design. An environment artist's role is to create a beautiful space that pulls the player into a digital world all the while helping facilitate the design that is in place to move the player from one objective to the next. An environment artist has to wear many hats to accomplish this job, as there are so many moving parts to this process of bringing a space from a rough block out a designer gives you to the final art you hope the player has a strong connection to as if it's its own real world. You model assets, create textures and shaders, make collision, build optimized assets with LODs, and assemble sets for animations to play. You must manage level budgets such as memory, frame rate, GPU, and CPU limits, all the while trying to compose a beautiful space that feels like it's truly inhabited. It's one of the jobs that has to deal with such a large array of different departments as every piece of the gaming puzzle lives in your environment. While your job will primarily be focused on art, to be a truly great environment artist, you'll have to master all these techniques and better your skills at working outside of just the art department alone. Working hand in hand with designers is key to creating fun, engaging, and beautiful levels. It will be the department you work closest with throughout the game production. Gameplay is king, as the saying goes, and as an environment artist, well, it's something you always have to remember and help facilitate with your art. You want your art to help the design, not detract from it. It's very easy to want to just make an over the top, gorgeous world that just focuses on the art. But that's not a video game, that's just a portfolio piece. But don't worry. For these next 10 weeks, we'll be focusing on making that over-the-top, gorgeous world, as that's what this class is all about. However, since most of you are likely pursuing a career in games, I feel it best to go over these principles and core philosophies, as they will only help you later down the road. I'll sprinkle these tips into all of my lessons going forward to expose each and every one of you to good habits and techniques that help you succeed well after this course is finished. This 10 week course that will help you create an environment from scratch in the Unreal 4 engine. We will begin this course by getting a better understanding of what an environment artist's role is, how it fits into a production pipeline, and how best we can plan out our space we hope to build. To build a world, you must have your feet on solid ground, so we will take a deep dive into Unreal's terrain system so that students can build some of the most beautiful environments imaginable. Modularity is key in games and in an organic environment that is no different. Students will learn to create modular organic assets such as rocks, trees, and tiling textures that can be used to fill up a large base while still keeping each asset feel unique and highly detailed. To further grow students' understanding of environments, we will be learning Unreal's foliage system and explore helpful techniques that will draw a viewer's eye around our scene, highlighting what's most important. Students will gain insight in how to incorporate man-made assets with natural assets so that the two blend together while still feeling rooted in reality. Utilizing our details, or lack of details, will help breathe life into our scenes by telling a story that will keep the viewer hooked. To give our scenes that pop that will help it stand out from the pack, we will look into how creating a rich atmosphere with fog, lighting, and particles will sell this as not just a digital space, but a real one. We will wrap up the course by adding final touches to our environments, capturing multiple views of our scene, creating breakdown images, and learning how best to show off your work in your portfolios. I'm excited to get to work with you and see the brand new world you all are sure to create.